gonna fly the good old sea wind. It's got landing. Have you ever flown an airplane? Just on simulator. Dave Knopp has literally made all the flight test videos. <laughs> and he's never flown. An airplane. Never flown an airplane. It's coming. What's, what's he doing? You know what? I. What do you think right now? Right now. Let's make right it. Now. Let's Let make his right dreams now. a reality. Dude. If we're gonna do it, we're gonna do it right. Do I need sunglasses? Yeah. Oh, you guys have cool sunglasses. Here, you can wear mine. Oh, really? Sorry. Yeah, I did. Those are FT shades. I'm gonna put this on the ground. Whoa, they're a little dirty. So we got the new FT spear here. <laughs> Ooh. They're testing out the spear, but we're gonna do Dave's first flight. Uh, we decided not to go buddy box, because we're just gonna throw him in head first. <laughs> Dave! All right. Ready All right, Dave. Now, what? Just like the simulator. What? Yeah, just like the simulator. Feel good. Get your hands ready. This is a pretty easy plane. So if you crash it, we're gonna laugh at you. <laughs> but uh, no, we're not. We're not. We're not gonna laugh at it. People like that. You say this is an easy plane, but we're in a very tight area. Right. And it's not the best situation. So if you don't have success, don't give up. Right. Dave, don't give up. I'm gonna right. bring it around one more time. Right, as soon Dave, as it not. starts flying away from us, I'll hand it over. <laughs> you ready? Yeah, we're going in. Going in head first, Dave. Here you go. Throttle management. Throttle management. Okay. And, and cut the throttle and it will glide forever. Okay. I almost say, man, quad top is a lot easier than this. <laughs> you think? I think, man. Because I was doing so good on the Inductrix. Yeah. It's pretty easy. Easy platform. It was a grotner. I'm just using pretty much, I'm not adjusting my throttle at all. By the way. You can even reduce your throttle just a little bit. Dude, you're doing great. Yeah, I'm doing it. Oh, I'm gonna try to do a loop. Not gonna have it. Stalled it, <laughs> dude. Freaking Dave Knob. Man. Yeah, killing it, dude. Dave Knob, yeah. Knob man. <laughs> Unbelievable. I wanted to do a loop, but it's not going fast enough. That kind of counts, right? Yeah, that, that was great loop. He's watched. Uh -oh. That is Dave Knob's airplane he, from this to the He's a natural. Yeah, give give it a little throttle Good. and go and get some altitude. There you go. Oh, oh wait, hang on, hang on. Ooh, nice trick. Oh, play there. You don't think nice he did it on purpose. Trick. Great. So just just for fun, just cut the throttle and just see how well it glides. Because yeah, this, yeah, turn it off and see how well it glides. It glides really good. Oh, yeah, yeah, I see that. Okay. Ooh, ooh, okay. It's the whole to and from me part that yeah. gets me a little confused. High wing, low wing, high five, low wing. Keep it going, Dave. I want to give, give it a little bit. Throttle. I don't want to get, I don't want to get in the trees. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's all good. It's all good. It landed, it, dude. That was your first landing. That was your first landing. It was a, it was a soft thing. That was, it was a soft, soft tree. Plane. No, I've seen worse. <laughs> hey, he fooled me, dude. Cool, just like, just like, just like the Otter episode. Dave Knopp. You even got a retrieval crew, Austin it's Fury. It's a whole different experience when you hit the tree. Because I'm like, right? oh, I see the tree. I know it's there. And then you realize, oh, I'm way closer than I thought I was. <laughs> That's <laughs> right what I'm saying. As soon as you no see your shadow it. on the tree, it's too late. It is right there. Bing. <laughs> Running into the tree, it would have been a lot different experience if I was like, I don't know what I'm doing. Crash. But I, that was a controlled landing. Yeah. I mean, you, it looked like you did it on, on purpose. I wanted to land it, man. You did land it. I wanted to bring it around and just ease it in. Slide it in. So how are we going to get it down? Uh, I heard something about someone saying like a phantom with a hook on it. Phantom hook. Chad! What? You have a hook mechanism we can put on a phantom to bring this thing down? All right. Oh, secret compartment. Whoa! Jeez, who would have thought that was back there? Dang, son. That's a crazy yeah, I know, it's a bow and arrow with string. Oh, on it. A bow fishing rig. A bow fishing rig. Yes, yeah, that thing. For fishing for fish? Yeah. Like you, you, you spear the fish, ping. Oh, carp, you... gar, bowfin, um, that kind of, those kind of fish. You never know what you're going to get with Chad. Literally, he's got so many random inventions, contraptions. Alligators as well. Alligators. Did you hear that? Did you, did you hear Gears. that? Alligators. What in the world? Chad's in the tree right now. Chad's in the tree right now? He's up in the tree. Oh my god, where? He's up in there, dude. Chad! Yeah! Stay. Stay. So he's trying to get this gun. <laughs> he got it! Well, easy, dude. Here, you got this. 
got it. Hey, hey, well done, man. Thanks for bringing that back for me. Actually, that was this guy. He, he, he got it. He went up in the tree and got it. Thank you. Heading into the podcast, podcast room. room huh? Got Jay Scott, Jay Bix, Austin, myself. We're podcasting without him. You know what? You guys enjoy. Yeah, because like I can't think of a better way to say it than full scale pilot. <laughs> so, you know, our that announcement that has to do with general aviation. Ah, oh, dang it. <laughs> but like Josh was saying, our current audience, you know, full scale means something to them because yeah. everybody's used to model aircraft. So full scale means the big ones. Right. Uh, but we want to be able to branch out and, and to attract uh, more than just the RC community uh, with this. And so to them, general aviation makes more sense. Yeah. Yeah. So our, our passion behind this is really to showcase what flight test is. And that's where we are passionate about anything that flies. And we've said it in the past from rubber band powered airplanes up to manned aircraft. Uh, we really want to showcase it all. And we want to try to break down the barriers that people have. And, and the way we got our start was in model aviation. You know, it was expensive. It was intimidating. People didn't know who to connect with, how to start, what they needed. Um, that exact same issue exists with manned aircraft, general aviation, full scale, whatever you want to call it. And uh, we've been given a platform now where we have the ability to do more content. And we have great collaborations with people both in our community and the industry where it's like now it's time to kind of spread out. And if someone does have the desire to, to uh, you know, take this on, get their private, get their recreational, get their LSA, um, build their own airplane, we want to be there to try to, you, you know, show them where, what resources they can tap into. Um, the one thing we're not going to do is be experts because we're not. It's, yeah. it's definitely evident. We're going to own that from the very beginning. Um, we're going to be sharing our failures and, and our successes uh, with trying different aircraft, you know, learning to fly maybe a parawing, uh, things like that, but we're also going to be bringing experts on to explain things that simply are too, uh, too important not to get perfect. Right, so just got done podcasting. Check out the links below if you want to check out the full episode. Uh, lots of cool information on general aviation stuff coming up on the flight yeah. show. Tell me, roll. Dude, look. No, I don't. Uh... I killed a kissing bug. What's a kissing bug? Dude, it's the thing that almost bit me and it injects a parasite into you. It comes in red and it comes in green. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Here's what Giant bug on my leg. Right. Oh my gosh. Why do you bring a kissing bug in here? It's dead. I killed it. Dude. Uh -oh. That looks pretty similar, man. Kissing bug. Looks like there's many different variations, too. The only thing that's a little bit different is his back leg. Oh no, right there. He is. That's yeah, him right there. Okay, I'll give you that. Same back legs and everything. Yeah, I'll give you that. That guy, that guy. Dead kissing bug. Also known as kissing bugs, bugs, assassin bugs, or vampire bugs. Oh, those are stink bugs. No, that's not a stink bug. It looks different. very similar. Yeah, it does. Stink bugs are a little bit fatter. Kissing bugs are insects that may be infected with. Trypansomoa cruzi, the parasite that causes Chagas disease. Kissing bugs feed on blood during the night. They're called kissing bugs because they prefer to bite humans around the mouth or the eyes. Mouth. That's just like the pictures. I know, dude. It's a kissing That's bug. what I'm telling. Nobody's freaking out except for me. Look, look, watch, watch. Ready? Oh, he's moving. His thorax. I told dude, you. If he left up in your mouth right now, he's, I would. Yeah, he is. <laughs> oh, he's alive, dude. I must have just knocked him out. No bueno, man. Kissing bugs. Dude, you're still, you're still obsessed with that. What do you think we should do? What do you do when kissing bugs invade? <laughs>